Hey guys, welcome to my channel again. It's Rosy Ross. Oh my god, look at this morning glow. Um, this did my morning makeup. I'm doing my brows this weekend, reshaping them. I haven't done my bra in three months. Um, just to grow the hair natural in the natural way, and I feel kind of weird, but I like uneven brows. I think brows are sisters, not twins. So. Let's see after the weekend how this is going to look. So I'm excited. But today we are not talking about bros. Today we are talking about my experience with circle DNA. So I don't know if it happens to you um, or you usually think about the fact of how many diseases you can have if you have certain patterns of diseases in your family. So a lot of my friends have been asking me how it works. Do they take a blood sample? Do you need to go to their offices? So actually it comes in the box. You can register on the circle application on your phone and you can request a box. You can buy the, the box right away. And then once you get the, the box, the box has three stages. So the first stage, it comes like this. Actually, you, you are not going to see it here because um, I already use it. So <laughs> it comes in like this and it comes one like this. It's a, a big tube and then you swap your your inside of your um, mouth. I don't know if you have seen on my Instagram stories. Um, on my Instagram videos, I do have um, the video when I did my sample. And then you swap it around and then you put it in a small box and then you send it to them. Actually. The box brings your own code, so actually the code that you have on your on your test samples is your own uh, number, so it's your own identification number. So actually, once you send it to them, they upload all the information in the phone. So two, three weeks, they send you the notification, and then you can see all the information on your phone. The box also comes with a consultation, so if you have any questions, any follow-ups that you want to do with the information that you found out, then you can do it uh, on your on your application. I think it's really good if you want to discover things like what uh, kind of diseases you can, you can have more risk uh, around, uh, things that you don't have to worry about, what part patterns you think you have but actually they're not and one thing I was talking with the Prenetics family because I have always been um, concerned about the patterns mostly because you have first diseases that don't show up on your generation but actually it shows up on your kids and maybe it doesn't show up on your kids but they show up on your next grand grand kids uh, so I always been worried about that and also I have a, a lot of male friends and believe it or not guys used to tell you oh no you know you know I was dating this girl and suddenly her grandma has this disease or this disease and I realized my male friends they actually concern about the women that they are going to have babies with or having a stable relationship with what kind of uh, diseases or patterns in their family are and I think that's a thing uh, that people might feel sensitive um, delicate topic to talk about but I think it's really important and I think we we shouldn't judge one another when things happen like if you have someone who has Alzheimer or someone who has cancer or someone who has any other kind of disease in your family it's nothing to feel ashamed about I think it's more of awareness kind of so you know if you are like planning to have a family or you are doing some kind of a training or you want to get into a I don't know a strong sports you can have some self awareness partners towards your relationship and yourself. So I think it's really important to discover uh, more about yourself. One of the, the discoverings that really, really, really shocked me about myself is that actually um, I thought I could have high risk for having cancer, but actually I don't. But then I do have high, high risk to have glaucoma. And, and you know, I spend I don't know, 90% of my day on the computer, seeing screens all the time. I'm either on the computer, on my iPad, or on my phone, and that's really bad because actually glaucoma is a, how can I say, it's a kind of disease that you can fix actually, um, but then it's really like really expensive to fix it, and second, it's not it's not going to show red, red flags, like one day you woke up and you don't see anymore, and that's it. So I was like mortified, and actually I didn't, I didn't 
<laughs> I did my, um, I remember I was telling to my dad, I was telling to everyone like, oh my God, I can't glaucoma. But you know, now I think it's better. Like I'm getting my glasses for the computer. I'm getting my glasses for, for the iPad. I'm trying not to use the phone at night. After 10, I don't reply emails. I don't reply on my chat because I think it's a preventive way towards yourself. Like, okay, I'm taking care of myself. I know my eyes can uh, damage. I know I spend all day in the computer and I need to do something about it. And I think the good thing about circle DNA and getting the test results is that you can do something about it. Other things like I know now that my liver doesn't work as before, like in, in the way I grow older, my liver is going to start working less. So now I have more preventive, so I try not to drink too much. I'm trying actually not to drink because I'm training. I'm trying to take care uh, of my body while training uh, five days to six days a week. And also I'm um, trying to eat a more veggies like our moms used to say. So you know I'm trying to take care of my liver and actually my next generation can have liver problems. So you know it's less preventive and I actually need to be aware of that. Um, so I think it's really important. I'm going to leave all the information about circle DNA down here. You can check all the tests that they have. If you're training, they have one test that is really good. Actually, I really, really enjoy it when it comes to my training because it tells you about your well-being, your nutrition, and sports and fitness. And when it comes to sports, it tells you if you have high body condition, what kind of blood flow you have, endurance capacity, um, hair rate, a condition a injury risk so you know in each stage of your discovering you can know all oh, what kind of exercise I'm doing I'm I should I uh, change my my training should I choose I mean I'm not doing I don't know I love doing weights like I love lifting so when I got my results it's like I'm in the right spot so sometimes people is like oh no I feel too weak um, and I would like to do weight but I don't because I'm too weak but then what you need is to change your diet so some people they have high they they can do actually and they can su succeed at high uh, intensity sports but they don't do because they don't manage their diet so once you have all your results you can say okay I can do that I have to improve this I have to change this and I I think one thing to do to improve ourselves is definitely make it changes around and having a set a steps to to improve with your habits. Um, another thing that I was talking with the Circle DNA uh, family, the Prenetics family, uh, when we first met for the Circle DNA uh, test was uh, the gene. You know, you have a lot of people that they have, and I'm going to say this, and I'm going to sound rough for a lot of people. You have a lot of people that they have patterns, uh, alcoholic patterns, a lot of like psychological patterns in their families, and a lot of people is uh, afraid either to develop the patterns or to share that pattern with their next generation and I do have a lot of friends that they have told me on a Rossi you know my grandma she had she used to have a Samer or any other kind of sickness or pattern and I'm not going to have kids because I don't I don't know what's the condition of my kid can be so I'm not going to have kids for the reason um, the truth is that we were into deep into the genes conversation and actually a genes um, there might be a pattern in your genes, there might be disease in your gene, but then you can work around the gene. So if you have a gene or something that is more like uh, related to alcoholism or related to fat or related to anything that is caused by an external factor, you can always work your habit around the gene. So the gene is there and it's like a virus so the gene is in there and if you work all the factors around the gene the genes develop but then of course there are some genes that you can change if it's something chronic something really bad you can't but there are certain patterns certain things that are influenced by external things and those you can manage uh, sleep patterns everything that is related to something that you have to put in your body consume or act those genes can always be improved or even changes. It's not like the gene is not going to go away, but um, your habit towards the gene is going to make the genes not show up. So I think that's really good, and I think that's something that everybody has to keep in mind uh, because, well, we can actually decide the family we come from. 
so i'm going to leave all the information here in the box let me know what you think about this topic let me know what you think about the jeans um let me know what you think about the circle dna box uh, if you like to take it if you would like to know more about the, your dna if dna is important for you if you would like to know what your jeans are telling let us know in the box below um i will also leave all our information so hands up for the circle dna family if you like this video give some thumbs up and see you in my next video